Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this video tutorial we are using SprueCam 8 and I'm going to go over a hole machining operation with SprueCam 8. There are considerable changes in the hole machining operation between SprueCam 8 and SprueCam 7. Um, there used to be two types of hole machining operations. One was called 5D hole machining and one was called just hole machining. Now they are both combined into one hole machining operation. But there has been some drastic changes because of that. Um, and let's go over the first thing. So this is a part that I've imported. It's just an IGES file and it's got two sides. There's some things that need to be done over here. Um, there's some things that need to be done over here. And this is the basic um, way it was drawn in its CAD system. But I've decided now that I'm going to machine it first on this side. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is drill um, this hole, these four holes and I'm going to use a hole machining operation to do so. It's a 257,000 diameter hole. So um, I have created a hole machining operation by going create roughing hole machining. So I've created that. I'm going to highlight hole machining and I'm going to go to job assignment. Now some of you may be aware as in sprue camp 7 you can highlight one edge of a hole double click it and it will select all the holes in that part that are the same dimension. So I've clicked it and I've gotten all four holes. I go over here, click center, and now SprueCam knows what holes I want to be machined. Now a difference you might notice is these little red discs. And if we look at it from down here, you're going to see some little arrows. This is a big difference that will cause a lot of frustrations if you don't know what they mean. The arrows should point in the direction from which you want the cutter to come in. So where do you want the drill to come in? Well, I want the drill to come from up here and go down and drill in there. Well, the arrows are not pointing up, so I actually have to go in there, go into our job assignment, and click on each one of these arrow points and now they are coming through the top so here I'm gonna really quick just click them again so you see they're coming from the bottom and I'm gonna click run just for for instance now look at the the toolpath it's starting from up here and it's turning everything and then it's gonna go and drill up. Well that's not how we want it. We may have a fourth axis machine loaded in here but we want to come in from the top from the, the direction that we want to machine this. We're not machining with a fourth axis. So in order to change that we have to go through like I said before and click all those arrows so that they're pointing up. Now if we do a run the toolpath is coming straight down and into the hole. So that is one of the differences. Okay, so now I'm going to double click on hole machining to see the parameters for hole machining. All right, well, I'm going to I'm going to make a, um, a quarter inch drill. So I got a quarter inch, make that number tool number one. I want a 0.25 drill and I'll add that to my oh no we don't want to replace it so here it is tool number five okay so that's the drill we're going to use I'm going to go to feeds and speeds I don't care so much about what it's doing because this is just for the cam strategy <clears throat> okay here's where a lot of things are different now you're going to see there's no upper level bottom level there's no like it was in sprue cam 7 where you could pick the depth and all that it is purely 
figured out from the model and sometimes that leads to a little confusion. So let's just set our return distance. I'm going to set that to 0.1 and our safe distance. I'm going to set that to 0 0.05 and our safe level will down here will point that to 0 0.05. And we have a can cycle. I'm going to be talking a little bit about can cycle in a little bit here. And we just want to do a simple drilling operation. So I'm going to click OK. And we'll click run. And there's our drill. Now let's let's make this transparent so we can see how far this is going down. So I'm going to go to simulation. I'm going to make this transparent and this transparent. So how far down is this going? So let's push play. Going only down to as far as what it what it thinks it recognizes as the bottom of the hole. Well, we want this whole thing to go down through there. So you may say, well, you know, Eric, where do I do this? How do I make it go deeper? Well, in this particular instance, there is no parameter for it. So you have to go to the drill points. So here's our four drill points. And then if I highlight the top one, hold down shift and highlight the bottom one, we select them all. I'm going to click on Properties, and we get the Hole Editing box. Now we're going to set our Z Max at 0, which is the top of the block, and our Z Minimum, this is what it thinks it's going to do, but we're going to put 7.5 in there, because we want it to drill all the way through first. All right. So now we can click OK, click Run, go back to our simulation, regenerate the simulation and click play. Now you can see the drill goes all the way through and down to the bottom. All right. So that is a big difference on whole machining. Now as I told you before when we're looking on here we see can cycle and there's two ways of outputting things from the post processor with sprue cam. One is doing it can cycles, which is, you know, your one of your, like a G83 drilling cycle, or one is longhand. Either one will put out the right code. However, because this is a newer program, if you have an older post processor, you have to go into tools, into system setup, and into the machining tab and go down here and make sure that you select drilling cycle output format needs to be cycle for old post processors it will start off as X cycle but we want old post processors because we have an older post processor if you have a brand new post processor then you may want this one but if you have an older post processor that you were using for 7, you will definitely want to keep that on. Cycle for old post processor. So we'll click OK. And we'll click Run. And we can take a look at that one more time in simulation. Just like that. Now... Let's change this drilling cycle to a deep drilling cycle. So I'm going to double click home machining. And instead of simple drilling now, I'm going to pick chip removing. And what we need to do is come over here. And here's a step in S. This gives you a percentage of diameter a tool. I prefer to do a count. So I'm going to take it in five steps. And that's all I'm going to set for now. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Run. I'm going to go back to Simulation, and I'm going to slow it down a little bit, and I'm going to regenerate it and run it. All right, let's go back to that. All right, so you can see I got Can Cycle, Chip Removing, now let's go to NC format and just choose longhand for this particular format and click OK 
and let's click run and now let's regenerate it and check a look at the simulation if it is done in longhand format you can tell that the uh, you're actually getting a simulation of the PEC cycle if it's done in cycle this is what will happen but you won't get the simulation so just for simulation purposes you may want to go ahead and turn on the uh, longhand option just so you can see how it will simulate. Now if we do it in can cycle and we rerun it you'll see that when we regenerate it we're just gonna see a big drill go down come back out and that'll be it. So this covers most of um, what is different between um, maybe SprueCam 7 and SprueCam 8. It's just a little different way of going about the same thing uh, it's a little bit more streamlined, a little easier to do in my opinion. So this has been a, a whole machining exercise for SprueCam 8. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.